The Top 10 Biggest Hedge Funds in the World Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, today we're looking at the monsters of money management, the 10 biggest hedge funds in the world. A hedge fund gathers capital from individual and corporate investors and invests it in a range of assets. The best hedge fund managers use complex algorithms and well-tested risk management techniques to secure the highest rate of return for their clients. There are currently over 9,000 hedge funds in operation around the world, with a total of $3.6 trillion in assets under management. Poor performance and high fees are driving clients away from many hedge fund managers in recent years. But there are a group of companies that have managed to stay largely above the fold. When it comes to ranking in size of hedge fund, it's all about the assets under management, otherwise known as the AUM. Every company on this list manages billions and billions in assets, and many of them offer returns that are far above those of their competitors. If you are looking to invest with a hedge fund, you may have to look elsewhere though. Many of the funds on our list are no longer accepting new clients. The best hedge fund managers have the ability to significantly elevate a person's wealth while also profiting handsomely at the same time. All the funds on this list have been well established and have proven to be the best in the hedge fund game. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So let's cut to the chase, shall we? And take a closer look at these companies with our list of the 10 biggest hedge funds in the world. Number 10. Winton Group. Assets under management, $28.5 billion. The Winton Group was started in 1997 in London, England by David Harding, who has a net worth of $1.8 billion. The firm was started with a $1.6 million investment, and today it manages $28.5 billion in assets. The company has expanded globally with offices in Sydney, Hong Kong, San Francisco, New York, Tokyo, and Zurich. Their average rate of return is about 19% over the past 10 years. Its founder, David Harding, is the 34th richest person in the UK, and he is regularly one of the highest earning hedge fund managers in the world. Number 9. Ochziff Capital Management. Assets under management? $31.8 billion. The Ochziff Capital Management Group, otherwise known as Oz Management, has been in operation since 1994. They have offices in New York City, Hong Kong, London, Mumbai, Beijing, and Houston. The fund was founded by Daniel Ock, who has a net worth of $3.2 billion. It was funded by a $100 million investment from the Ziff brothers. In 2016, Ock was personally fined $2.2 million and Oz Management was fined $413 million for paying out over $100 million in bribe money to a number of officials in Africa. Their clients last year saw returns of nearly 10% and their average returns over time. Most recent reports state Oz Management's AUM is at $31.8 billion. Number 8. Elliott Management. Assets under management, $34 billion. Billionaire Paul Singer founded Elliott Management Corporation in 1977 in New York City. Singer has also acted as the CEO from the beginning, and he was the sixth highest hedge fund earner in the world in 2017, with $400 million in earnings. He has helped to secure his clients an average of 14.6% net compound annual returns since the start of the company. But before you try to take advantage of these excellent returns, you should know they aren't accepting any new clients. Elliott is widely known as a vulture fund that invests in debt that is very weak or in default. Elliott's largest holding is the oil company Hess. They own 17.8 million shares that are worth over $1 billion. Their total AUM is $34 billion. Number 7. Millennium Management. Assets under management, $36 billion. In 1989, Israel Englander founded Millennium Management with a $35 million investment. The hedge fund almost went under and Englander's business partner jumped ship. 
but the firm has been excelling in recent years and now has $36 billion in assets under management. Today, Millennium takes over 2 million trades per day and has expanded to 12 offices worldwide. Israel remains the CEO and in 2018 was listed as the fifth highest earning hedge fund manager in the world. Israel, also known as Izzy, has a personal net worth of $6 billion. He paid $71.3 million for a duplex apartment in Park Avenue in New York City back in 2014, which was the most that anyone had ever paid for a New York City co-op. The company has averaged 14% net returns since its inception. Number 6. Two Sigma. Assets under management, $45 billion. Two Sigma was founded in 2001 by billionaires David Siegel and John Overdeck. The fund takes a unique approach to investments, employing advanced technology like artificial intelligence to maximize returns. The fund has grown quickly in the last few years. In 2010, they were managing just $5 billion in assets. As of the end of 2017, that number increased 900% to $45 billion. In the past 10 years, their returns have averaged around 30%. The company is based in New York City, but also has offices in Houston, Hong Kong, and London. In 2014, a former employee named Kang Gao was convicted of stealing proprietary information from the company. He had to spend eight months in jail for this crime. Although Kang did not escape punishment, there are plenty of other rich criminals who have. Click in the upper right-hand corner to check out some of them on our list of 10 criminals who got away because they had a good lawyer. Number 5. D.E. Shaw & Co. Assets under management, $47 billion. D.E. Shaw & Co. is also based in New York City but has a number of offices in London, Bermuda, Shanghai, Hong Kong, and some other cities. The firm was started in 1988 by David E. Shaw, but he stepped away from the daily operations back in 2002. D. E. Shaw now has the distinction of giving the third highest returns of any hedge fund in the world since the company was started. Currently, the firm manages $47 billion in assets. In March 2018, a senior portfolio manager named Daniel Mikolo was fired for inappropriate behavior towards female employees. He's now bringing a defamation lawsuit against the company and refused to take a $10 million settlement offer. He has also threatened to reveal shocking details about D.E. Shaw's company culture. Meanwhile, David Shaw and his company both claim that his accusations lack merit. Number 4. Man Group. Assets under management, $53 billion. The Mann Group is a London-based hedge firm that was established in 1783 by James Mann, a brokerage that dealt in sugar and rum. Today, it's the largest publicly traded hedge fund company. Assets under management increased an incredible 28% in the 2017 fiscal year, and today, the AUM stands at $112.7 billion, with about $53 billion in hedge fund assets. In 2017, the company announced they would be establishing a hedge fund in China. They are one of the first international firms that China has allowed into the country to operate a private securities investment firm. The Mann Group has been trading in the industry for 235 years, and they continue to be one of the top players in the hedge fund game. Number 3. AQR Capital Management Assets under management, $77 billion. AQR Capital Management was started in New York City back in 1998. It has since moved to Greenwich, Connecticut, and has offices in Hong Kong, London, Sydney, Los Angeles, Boston, and Chicago. The AQR stands for Applied Quantitative Research. AQR actually suffered some major losses in the global financial crisis, going from $39 billion in assets under management in 2007 to $17 billion by the end of 2008. Today, AQR manages over $225 billion in total assets, with about $77 billion of those in hedge funds. About 50% of their employees hold PhDs, and the company is built on a very academic foundation. The fund was established by four men, including Cliff Asnes, who has a net worth of $3.6 billion. Number 2. Renaissance Technologies Assets under management, $84 billion. 
James Simon is an award-winning American mathematician and a Cold War codebreaker. He founded Renaissance Technologies in 1982 in New York City. The former CEO, Robert Mercer, made headlines in 2017 because of his strong financial and vocal support for President Donald Trump, and a controversy with an ex-employee who claimed he was fired for criticizing Mercer's political views. Mercer went on to resign in 2017. The fund itself donated over $33 million to federal campaigns in the 2016 election, making it the top financial firm contributor. The company posted returns of approximately 14% in 2017. From 1994 to 2014, they averaged nearly 72% in annual returns. Renaissance has been thriving in the past couple of years, jumping from managing $27 billion in assets at the start of 2016 to $45 billion in 2017, to now managing $84 billion in assets. Number 1. Bridgewater Associates. Assets under management, $123 billion. Here we are at the very top of our list. The biggest hedge fund in the world is Bridgewater Associates, based in Westport, Connecticut. Bridgeport was established in 1975 by Ray Dalio. From 2000 to the time it stopped accepting new clients in 2005, it was the fastest growing asset manager in the world. Ray Dalio has built a personal fortune of $17.4 billion based on its success, making him the 54th richest person in the world. In recent years, Bridgewater has been posting mixed results, but they remain a dominant force in asset management. Bridgewater is the most successful hedge fund in history in terms of net gains. They have produced net gains of $45 billion since their founding. In 2016 alone, Bridgewater brought in $4.9 billion in gains, and they currently manage $123 billion in assets. And there you have it, Aluxers, the 10 largest hedge funds in the world today. These companies have many things in common, but they found a way to make themselves stand out among all of their competitors. Whether they've been around for 300 years or less than 20, these companies have found a way to analyze data and master their algorithms to offer their clients some of the best returns in the industry, further securing their place in the investment arena. Now that you've learned some more about these hedge funds, we'd like to know, are you open to trusting your money in someone else's hands, or do you prefer to manage your own funds? Let us know what you think in the comments. And as always, for sticking with us and watching this video all the way to the end, here's your bonus. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission ignored complaints about Bernie Madoff's fraud for eight years. In 1999, a financial analyst named Harry Markopoulos came to the conclusion that Bernie Madoff's hedge fund was a scam after doing four minutes of math. He found that Madoff's numbers just didn't add up. He dove in further to the financials of Madoff's business and realized he was likely committing fraud on a massive scale. He started presenting evidence to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in 2000 and kept coming back to them with further evidence over the next eight years. In that time, the scale of the fraud went from $5 billion to $65 billion before Madoff was arrested. In fact, Harry went on to write a book about his experience titled, No One Would Listen. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.